Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we're doing a taste test. One of my favorite videos, love doing a taste test. This time it's from B&M. Uh, we've actually done a B&M taste test before, quite a few months ago. I wanna say like six, five, six months ago. But they've got a whole new range of items. I wasn't intending on doing just B&M. I was gonna do like a new in taste test from lots of places in one video. But I went into B&M and there was a lot of items there, so that's what we've got today so i hope you guys enjoy this one if you do please don't forget to smash a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here i have already filmed bits that have a breakfasty sort of item so rather than kind of wasting the food and like having a tiny bit of something i don't want to tell you now uh, i've done it in two sort of sections but it doesn't matter to you but i just would let, thought I'd let you know that. Anyway, like I say, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, good morning. Firstly, do you like my flowers? I've actually just placed them there because I think they're really pretty. Anyway, should we get back to the video? So, I'm gonna be having some breakfasty bits. I haven't filmed the intro yet, so I might have already mentioned what I'm doing, but basically, there's two bits that are like breakfast. I don't really want them as a snack when I'm doing the actual taste test. So I thought I'd do them now, have them for breakfast, and then you know, two birds, one stone. So the first one I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try a little bit of each. So the first one is actually gonna be this one. These are some hot fudge sundae pop tarts. I definitely haven't seen this flavour anywhere before. Obviously they're new, but sometimes you know it's just the fact that they're new in that shop. But hopefully these are brand new. Uh, these are 2 99 and you get, how many do you get in a pack? Eight toaster pastries. The only thing is I literally only want one and they come in little packs of two, but that's okay. If anyone's not seen Pop-Tarts before, yeah, you get a pack of them like this and uh, they come in a cool little packet. And yeah, there's two of them. You literally just pop them in the toaster. So I'm going to do that, but I also will show you the other bit I'm gonna have because what's the point in kind of going back and forwards, you know? So this is some cereal. So it's a skinny crunch cereal. There's like the skinny range, isn't it? Like the skinny whip bars that you get as well. Uh, Guilt-free skinny crunch. Apparently it's only 117 calories per 25 gram portion. I don't see how that's, like I obviously haven't bought this because it's skinny, but I don't see how that is like good because most, cereals like obviously i'm not weighing anything at the moment i'm not trying to lose weight whatever but when i have i always have like 30 grams of cereal and it's always around the same sort of amount and i know that this is going to be heavy cereal so you probably won't get much anyway rather than talk about that shall i actually go and try it so this is sorry i didn't tell you it's the chocolate granola flavor uh, i've never actually had chocolatey granola i'm always like a strawberry fruity sort of gal so yeah we're gonna try this chocolate oh it gives you little ideas on the back as well actually of what you can make with it it's like chocolate and cherry overnight oats which i might make that sounds good anyway pop this in the toaster pop some milk with this fingers crossed they're gonna be good right i've got the cereal i'm gonna try this one first oh there you go sorry i've actually put too much milk in but look can you see the little chocolate shavings in there oh sorry you actually saw my trackies there <laughs> Business on the top, absolutely not on the bottom. Uh, Realise as well, I didn't show you the price. So these, this pack of cereal was two pound. Absolute bargain. Cereal's expensive these days, isn't it? That's quite nice, actually. Oh, I like those little pieces of chocolate. Yeah, this is nice. So the actual like crunchy bits, they're not as crunchy, sorry, it's actually going to focus on the flowers, not me, not the thing. Yeah, there we go. The crunchy clusters aren't as crunchy as the cereal I'm having at the moment. It's like a strawberry one. Strawberry, like, granola type of thing. And that's really crunchy clusters, but these aren't as crunchy. They are hard, but not, like, proper. But those little bits of chocolate, that's nice. Like I say, I've never really had a chocolatey granola before. So I haven't got any anything to kind of compare it to. But I would get that again. That's very tasty. Right, let me try the Pop-Tart. Because you don't want to sit and watch me eat a whole bottle of cereal, do you? This is our Pop-Tart. Such a healthy breakfast, isn't it? So if anyone hasn't had Pop-Tarts, let's have a look to see if they describe what it is. Obviously, I've had Pop-Tarts before, but I want to get the actual proper 
description if they've got it. Don't think they have, but it basically it's like a chocolatey, biscuity pastry, as you can see. And then the filling is inside. So yeah, frosted hot fudge sundae. Apparently it's no artificial colours or flavours. Wow. Hopefully it doesn't burn me. I'm just going to break it in half so you can... Oh, look. Can you kind of see? Oh, look at that. Can you see that in that? Why is my... Look at my hand. Why am I holding it that way? Um, yeah, so the filling is in there. That's tasty. Let me take a bite of this bit, which has got like loads of the filling in. Because I want to see if I can actually get the proper flavour. That's really tasty. See, I'm the other way around with Pop-Tarts. Fruity for the cereal type thing. The granola, I prefer fruity, but I like that. Pop-Tarts. I'm always a chocolate flavour. They do strawberry ones as well, don't they? But chocolate's good. That is very nice. I wouldn't put it in my mouth and say that is a hot fudge sundae. Reminds me more of a brownie with fudge sauce and all, you know. But it's basically along them lines. So yeah, this is good as well. Mm -mm. Very tasty. Anyway, thumbs up, start the video. Very good. I will see you a little bit later, in about two minutes, two seconds for you, sorry. Uh, and we can try the rest of the actual items, the proper taste test. Hello. So, here we have a big old bag, not full of bad stuff. Should have probably changed the bag, shouldn't I? But, you know, I like to take my own bags with me. I don't like paying for more because I've got so many under my kitchen cupboard. And I chose an Asda one. Oh well. Anyway, uh, I've got quite a lot of sweet stuff today. In fact, the whole of the video, food items, is basically sweet. Chocolate, sweets. Apart from one. So... <laughs> Should we just get straight into it and have a bit of a sugar rush? When I do a taste test, I like to lay all the items out, worst to best for me, in my opinion. So, don't know why. Well, actually, you, sorry. I empty in the bag as I'm talking to you. I do know why, it's because I wanna be saving the best till last. Who wants to end a video on something that is not very nice? That's a good start. My battery's flashing at me, so give me a sec. I'll swap it over and I'll be back. Here's hoping. You're in the same place, I'm pretty sure you are. Right, let's get into the taste test. I'm gonna start with this. So this is a Maltesers cake bar, a mint flavored one. So, sorry, I have my finger over the actual photo of it. It looks quite cool, I think, in that photo. So it describes it as mint flavored sponge cake bars with a malt flavored cream covered in sugar pieces, cocoa coated honeycomb pieces, and covered in chocolate. So you get five in here. Oh. I was just about to say, I wonder if they're individually wrapped. They are, which is good. Because no one likes having to, you know, eat something like this, like, within a certain amount of time. So these were one pound. Ooh. I've opened that up and that's a really strong smell of mint. Yummy. Now these, obviously, at the first part, which means that... I can't get them out. That I feel like they're the worst. But the only reason I put them there is because of the strong flavour of mint. I want to have it, have a bit of water and kind of, you know, freshen up. Okay, so here it is. It's quite small, like, is it small? No, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overreacting. Oh, it does really smell really minty. That smells good. So here he is. Let's have a bite and then I can show you the inside. So that's the inside with like the sponge and the creamy filling. Yeah, very minty. I like it, but I really don't understand what is maltese -y about it. Obviously, I'm assuming that it's just the fact that Maltesers have brought it out. There's nothing that compares to Maltese in there. Like, the inside of Maltese, it's not honeycomb, is it? What is that centre? I don't know. But, like, you would have thought, like, there'd be more of that in there. There's not. But it's nice. I would definitely get that again. This is why I love taste testing, because I just eat it all. I don't just bite it. I don't actually know why I sit here when I'm doing taste testing. I think it's just because it's all in front of me then and I can just like grab bits, but it hurts my back. You know when you're sat somewhere and like, you're not leaning against anything, it hurts your back. I just want to like be like this, but I suppose, you know, for a video, I can't just chill like that. Anyway, let's get to the next item. Sorry, I feel like I'm in a chatty mood today, so apologies if you're just coming here to see the items when I'm just blabbing. Should we get on to the next one? So, the next one is 
quite excited for this one. It's a caramel flavoured Kit Kat. There's not really much talk in for this one. It's the four fingered one. So four crispy wafer fingers covered with caramel flavoured milk chocolate. You know what? I love caramel flavoured things, but I don't like the smell of that. I don't like the smell of caramel flavoured things. Just like the taste. That's quite nice. You get the flavour kind of straight away as you bite into it. And then it kind of goes. It's like a really, it doesn't go, like it's a really strong flavour straight away and then it's like dies down. But I suppose it's the same with anything. Sorry, I just realised I forgot to tell you the price. This was 69p. Probably wouldn't get it again just because... I just like your standard Kit Kat, but there was no standard Kit Kat and that was the only one I would get it again. And actually I saw one of my friends on Instagram, she put as her story, she put a little poll up saying, what do you class as like a normal Kit Kat? Do you class, obviously they say it's normal flavour, four fingers or two fingers? I think two fingers is a regular Kit Kat, that's a normal Kit Kat. Anyway, that's her debate, not mine. Next up is the first of two items that aren't chocolate. I'm going to feel sick at the end of this, aren't I? So this one is Werther's Original. It's the soft ones, which is good. And it's a salted caramel flavour filling. Soft and creamy caramels filled with a salt, salted caramel cream. These are £1.25. I wasn't, no, I was going to bite into it and kind of show you the inside, but there's literally no point because it's just going to be like a cream filling and that would make my teeth really hurt. So give me a sec. They're a bit of a letdown. I'm literally getting no salted caramel at all out of that. The filling, when I bit into it, like the filling kind of came out, it's very soft, it kind of came out in my mouth. So I crunched down that on its own, not crunched, but I bit that on its own. I'm getting like a little hint of caramel, definitely not salted, definitely not. And salted caramel is quite a distinctive sort of flavour, isn't it? Like it's the salt. So I wouldn't buy them again. They're not horrible, definitely not horrible, but if you're wanting salted caramel flavour, don't even bother because that is unless i've just had a bad one but i don't really want another one just to try it um they won't go to waste i will have them but just stick to the regular ones there was two things that i was going into being m4 that i had seen that were new and the rest is just a bonus so this is the first one of them and i've just seen the price and if i'm honest it's an absolute bloody rip off this is the strawberry flavor 12 i, I don't really know what to say i'm a bit in shock 2 99 for a twirl, are they having a laugh? It's, I've just noticed on there that it says special edition. I'm holding it the right way, no. So I'm assuming that it, this won't be around, it's not new to stay. I'm assuming it's just like a limited edition bit, but it's two bars of strawberry flavored swirls and coated in Cadbury dairy milk chocolate. This better be freaking amazing for £2.99. I don't know how much regular twirls are to be honest, but I'm sure they're not gonna be 2 99 Oh, it does smell good though. I love strawberry chocolate as long as like they've got the right flavour in. My favourite, Quality Streets. Is it Quality Streets? Yeah, Quality Streets and Roses is always the strawberry and orange chocolates. So, fingers crossed this is just as good. I'm just going to push that back in there. I don't like that. Oh my God. That's like fake chocolate, like fake strawberry flavour, I mean. I don't like that. I'm going to have to give that away to someone because I, I don't even want to take another bite. That's I don't really like that at all. Wouldn't rate that, wouldn't get that again. Please don't go get it. If you're taking something for this video, don't go get that. 2 99 I've just literally chucked down the drain. It's not really looking too good at the moment, is it? But anyway, should we go to the second and last item that is not chocolate? And it's a drink. So I'm sure you guys have seen these sort of drinks around. So this one I've picked up is a squash um, that you mix with water, just in case you didn't know how to make squash. Uh, it's the drumstick one, the regular drumstick. So it's like, the, it's the raspberry one. They did have the bubblegum one there, but I thought, no, let's go with the normal standard drumstick. Um, these have been out a couple of weeks now, I know, but I haven't, I just wanted, I was adding things up, didn't have enough. So I thought, right, I'll get this drink it's new to me, it's new out, yeah, but there's quite a lot of different flavoured, I can't think of them off the top of my head, but lots of like retro sweets in a drink. I don't know how they're going to do this, but surely this is just going to be basically a raspberry cordial. 
raspberry squash. This was one pound. I don't usually do it this way around. It's usually cordial and then water, but I was setting up and I thought halfway through, I'm not going out there. Anyway. Oh. I'm a bit 50-50 about that. I feel like it does taste like drumstick, but also doesn't. I feel like it tastes like the white bit of the drumstick. Yeah, it tastes like the vanilla-y, I don't know, vanilla -y white bit. I wouldn't, if I tell you, I wouldn't drink it and say that is drumstick flavour, but if someone said to me, try this, it's drumstick flavour, I might be like, oh yeah, you can tell. Does that make sense? You know when someone puts it in your head and you're like, yeah, actually that does taste like that. Probs wouldn't get it again, it's quite sickly. The smell of it's putting me off. It smells really, really sickly. Yeah, I wouldn't get it again. This taste test is going really well, just in case any of you were wondering. I'm really enjoying it. But at least it's me doing it and you don't have to go and waste your money. Let me know, guys, if you, any of you have tasted this before or tasted any of the other retro sweets as drinks. Let me know what you think in the comments because that's making me feel a bit sick. This twirl wasn't £2.99. Sorry, let's go back to that. That twirl was £1.25. These... These were £2.99. These are called, on the receipt, Twirl Bites slash Strawberry. So obviously I just saw Twirl and like Strawberry and was like, what's that one? Um, but no, the actual Twirl is £1.25. These are £2.99, but there's nothing on the bag that says Twirl. So as you can see, they are Dairy Milk Strawberry Bites. There's nothing Twirl related. I don't understand why they put Twirl. Anyway, anyway, Dairy Milk Milk Chocolate Bites with smooth flowing strawberry filled center. Hopefully these are better than the other one, than the twirl, the actual twirl. They smell better. They don't, they smell like chocolate. They don't smell like strawberry, which is a good start. Get quite a few in there. They're individually wrapped, which is always a bonus because I hate having to unwrap sweets when you've got a packet of them. You know when you like get Malwams, you got to just unwrap every one or it's just annoying. Anyway, here he is. They don't look like appetizing because they've got like white on them, but anyway, this is what they look like. Mm. I quite like that one. That's much better. It's still not a strawberry dream, strawberry cream, whatever they're called, but that has not got the fake flavour like the twirl has. That's quite nice get them again so two more definitely saving the best till last so the second best we've got this munchies chocolate bar it's caramel and biscuit chocolate bar and this is £1.25 sharing bar sharing absolutely not that's that's one person milk chocolate with a caramel filling and biscuit pieces you can actually see like the bits that it's called isn't it and it's a cool looking bar of chocolate like rounding off the edges that looks quite cool anyway oh i'm gonna put that straight in that is gooey i don't know what i thought it literally says gooey on the front and i bit into the square as if it wasn't going to be gooey it was literally full of gooey caramel lots of little biscuity pieces very sweet so that would be enough that was very sweet. I don't know, it's probably because I'm eating loads of chocolate right now. Like if you're sitting down and watching a film, oh yeah, I'd have one square of chocolate. You could probably have enough. You could probably have more, but it'd be like, not like all, you know, when some, do you know what I mean? Of course you probably don't know what I mean because I'm actually just not even saying any words to you and saying, do you know what I mean? I mean, you know when you can sit with like, I don't know, dairy milk or something and you can kind of literally have one after the other or Easter eggs and you can eat it in about 10 seconds flat. Yeah, I don't think you could do it at that one. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go on to the final item, which is the other main reason I went in there. So it was for the twirl, the strawberry twirl, and this item. So let's hope this item lives up to 
the standards that I've got for it. So this item is what I'm most excited for. So this is the Dairy Milk, I don't know whether you guys have seen this online, Dairy Milk Cadbury's Cream Egg Flavour. Now, I've literally only seen this online after Easter. So some of you guys have probably already tried it and you're probably like, it's not even that new. Don't comment that because if it says new on there, don't come at me for it. Uh, so this is limited edition, so obviously it's not sticking around, but I think it's only in B&M. I don't think you can get it anywhere else, as far as I'm aware. Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate with a gooey cream egg flavoured centre. So I'm not gonna be biting into it to try and show you the centre, because it's gonna go all over my fingers. I will just be putting it all in my mouth. What a way to finish the video. 10 out of 10. That is literally a cream egg in there. That is good. Don't know what else to expect. Well, you're probably thinking what we expect and she says it's cream egg filling, but from the other some of the other things I've had, you just can never have high hopes, can you? What is going on with my hair? Anyway, that was a good one to end the video on. There's a few items I definitely wouldn't get again. And you probably got that from this video. So I won't go and tell you, go backwards and forwards and be like, yeah, I'll get this, I won't get this, I won't get this. Let's not bore each other. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. But yeah, that's all for now. So thank you again so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.